What's up guys and good morning. We are getting a nice early start on things today. We have a lot to update you guys on and today is going to be a very, very exciting video because not only are we taking down the shelter logic, we're getting Lika back and we made, you know, what could be considered a reckless or careless or crazy decision. Is it on your chin? Oh yeah. <laughs> We've got a few things to fill you in on. I decided to trim my beard uh, yesterday or two days ago and I grabbed my trimmer and I thought it was on the previous length that I trimmed my entire beard to and let's just say it wasn't. So I went and now I'm 16 again, so. Meant to be, happy spring. I don't care if it's gonna continue to snow, the beard is coming off whether Trent likes it or not. So needless to say, we have a few things to update you guys on and like I was saying a second ago, we uh, did something a little crazy. Well guys, we're doing something that I'm a little bit nervous about today. We are heading somewhere to do something that we've talked about for a long time, but haven't actually, I didn't think it would happen. When we lived in our van, our van was our home and our daily driver. It was the only vehicle we owned. And when we came back to the United States after emergency evacuating out of Argentina at the start of the pandemic, we bought this truck and this was kind of like our Corona survival vehicle in the pandemic. We used it to drive across the country back home to Utah and it's been incredible. It helped us with all of the work we did on Trent's mom's farm. It helped us building our own house, towing Terry. And it's a little sad, honestly, that this journey that we've had in the truck, I think is coming to an end. If you guys caught our last episode, we talked a lot about why we're looking at getting rid of this truck and getting into something newer that doesn't have as many problems. It's a little bit more reliable. It's not as big of a truck. I think this new truck should hopefully be plenty capable and should be able to get us home in any, you know, gnarly situations that arise. But we're about to pull up to a dealership now. We're saying goodbye to Rambo. And it's a little bit sad. And I don't know why I'm attached to a vehicle, but I am. <laughs> Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, You know, honestly, this truck is a little bit smaller. It's much more maneuverable. It's not as high up off the ground. I think it will be just as capable in the snow. Um, we're just a little obviously concerned since it isn't as much of a monster truck, but I, I really think the monster truckness was a bit overkill. So this will be much easier to drive around in the city. And um, I think it will still have the capabilities we're looking for in the snow. It's just a little bit smaller, which I think will be much better in the long run. What do you think? I guess we did it. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm like excited because it's like cool and it's nice to have like a nice new cool car, but I'm like I'm nervous. I don't know. I, I think it's the right decision. I don't think we're like making a mistake, but it is just kind of sad to see the truck go. I know. Truck, I know you're not watching this right now, but we have loved our time with you. Thank you so much. <laughs> So this is actually gonna be Frank's last meal without Lika because today we are heading down to Innovative Canine. We're picking up Lika for the day. It's gonna be a lot of work to try and maintain the things that they've been teaching her, but we are dedicated and I think Lika is going to be a mildly transformed dog with a lot of better behaviors. So without further ado, I guess we're gonna go pick up Lika. <laughs> Let's go. Now we actually have to take two cars today because we have a bunch of stuff going on later this afternoon. But dude, how weird is it to come outside and there not be a huge black monster truck in our driveway? It is like, <laughs> I, 
And like the thing that's really weird is even the day after we got this truck, in my mind, I felt like it was a black truck. Yeah. So I like wake up in the morning, walk out and I'm like, oh, it's silver. <laughs> we got a really good deal on it. So yeah. that's the only reason I was okay with the silver. And maybe we'll like wrap it or do something to make it black because I kind of miss having a black truck, but. Our friend Tyrell does wraps, so that would be cool we'll actually. Make the, we'll make it the hookup. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna take the truck. Allie's gonna take the forerunner. And we're going to pick up Lika. Of course, it has to be mud season, right when we get a brand new truck. <laughs> getting out of the black truck and I just like jumped out like I normally jump out and I was like I like hit the ground too soon and like almost fell thanks some getting used to it's an adjustment it's a really nice ride it's like nice to have cool new features and have like you know modern technology but it's gonna take some getting used to so now we are actually here at the PGA Superstore which no we're not making a golf vlog don't worry but Brandon's uh, birthday is coming up here in a couple of months and Brandon has a really old driver and it's not even a driver that he bought it's like a driver that someone gave to him when they got a new driver so it's like this hand-me-down and uh, for Brandon's birthday we're gonna buy him some top-of-the-line beautiful amazing new technology a brand new driver and we're gonna give it to him tomorrow which is early for his birthday but golf season is here baby so I want him to enjoy it for the whole season so we're gonna go in and pick it up now Hi. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the one. He has a uh, tailor-made right now, and I know that he really thinks the Sim is cool, and it is cool. It's like one of the best clubs out right now. There's probably this and one other club that are like competing for the best driver. So we're gonna get him this one. If he hates it, he can always come and trade it in and get store credit and get a different club if he wants, but this one has an amazing grip on it, a really nice shaft, and uh, I think he's gonna love it. These guys absolutely love golfing together. Brandon has been golfing for years, actually. Hopefully he really enjoys this club and hopefully it's just a nice surprise. So we're gonna put that in here, hit the road, go get our little girl. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. It's been a really long three weeks without Lika. She has been uh, having a really good time. Learning some new skills, and most of those are based in better listening and... Giving her a job. Mostly just listening, yeah, and really giving her a job. And a lot of you have commented this before, and we totally agree. The issue with dogs um, being misbehaved is an owner problem, not a dog problem. And so we are here today to train ourselves on how to maintain the new skills that she's learned, become more in tune with her behaviors so we can know how to respond to her. A big, big part of having a dog that is well behaved is having an owner that is calm, cool, collected, and knows how to read the dog. So I'm really excited for us to get some new skills of our own under our belt. We just got super lucky with Frank is really what it comes down to. He's the chillest dog. Yeah. And uh, we trained him, but he probably like trained himself, honestly. But in reality, like as far as Malinois go, Lika is like a super calm, chill, relaxed yeah. Malinois because most of them are like, <laughs> like they're just like, like Rabbit. almost like they're on drugs <laughs> yeah. because they're like so energetic and like always looking for something to do and something to occupy them. And Lika actually chills out and is like calm. She just gets excited when people come over and she, you know, likes to run off and not listen, listen very well on the leash. So a lot of that stuff will hopefully be corrected by some of the, uh, some of the techniques that this guy has been teaching Lika. And it's really hard because like in some of the training videos that we were watching that he wanted us to watch, it talks about like, excitement and how to not like inject the excitement into your dog and so i'm excited to see lika and i'm it, it's gonna be hard not to like <gasps> oh there she is yeah see? See? did you hear yeah. ali did you that. hear ali <laughs> ali is gonna be injecting excitement Don't into lika that. i'm nervous but i think it's gonna be fine so i have some bad news uh oh I just found out they just changed the rules. They can't have dogs here anymore. No. So um, there's another one that's pretty close that we can go to. Okay, we can follow you. Yeah. 
We were yeah. just saying how we were watching your videos last night and it's all about like not injecting excitement yeah. into the dog. And then, and then we pull up and we're like, oh, there she is. And it's like, no, calm down. Yeah. Don't no, be crazy. It's like almost the exact opposite of what we do with our kids. Yeah. We yeah. get home, we, you know, we throw a party, but with dogs, especially Malinois, they will go nuts. Cool. All right. Yeah. So we're just keeping it cool. <laughs> all right. We'll follow you. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Calm down, Allie. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm the problem, for sure. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, after you said that, I pulled up one of our videos. Yeah. There's a video I made a, of one of my dogs. Oh my The gosh. reason why we don't, like, get home and say hi to our dogs. Oh gosh. That's not Lika, right? No, that's my, that's my dog, Idol. Oh. But that's what Lika will do if you leave her out of the crate if we're gone. She's actually never like torn anything up or done anything when we've left her out of the crate. All the destruction that she's done has been from inside the crate and that's why we've always been like not willing to see what happens if we leave her out and we leave. Yeah, no, so it's like a, no for sure. The yeah, fact so, that she's just chilling right now yeah, so the, is unbelievable. Malinois will get addicted to everything and, and there are other breeds that obviously do. And so every single time that we give, come home and we give them that, that big huge party mm -hmm. for nothing, mm -hmm. they start to get addicted to it. And then when we leave and they don't get that party, kind of like I talk about in that video, it's an anticipation of reward. Mm -hmm. And so they don't get that adrenaline rush, all that that big party and everything and they decide well maybe i'm going to go and destroy your couch i'm going to mm -hmm. go and pull on the shades i'm just gonna looking rip for up that their, rush just well not even looking for the rush but trying to get some of their energy out mm -hmm. okay bed down stay all right so we're going to start working with our dog i don't want to say her name because i don't want to like trigger her or something but uh <laughs> we're gonna start working with her and start doing some healing exercises and some of the things that they've been uh teaching her and uh <laughs> kind of reinforcing some of those behaviors so ideally for us when we take our dogs for walks the walk is uh is a calm exercise there's two types of walks for me the one where they're right next to me or the one when they're where they're wandering and they can kind of do what they want and just stay within a close range one big thing that i see from a lot of clients is they get their dogs very excited about going for a walk and they say hey are you ready for a walk here's your leash let's go for a walk and they get them super excited and then they expect their dog to walk next to them well of course your dog's going to be pulling out in front of you if you just got them excited so okay. one thing that we don't do is get them excited for that walk because we want them to be calm starting in the house so Lika. okay training Trent basically on how to work with Lika, how to read her and how to talk to her. And I'm over here just kind of watching, keeping my distance. We're trying really hard not to overly excite Lika. And I'm just hanging out with Idol, one of David's dogs, who's a super sweet 10 and a half year old Malinois. Hopefully this is Lika's future right here. Good girl. You're welcome. So Lika is basically a brand new dog. She's completely different than she was when we dropped her off, which is really exciting. And I'm, I'm super stoked to get her home and start trying to reinforce these behaviors on our own watch when, uh, when David isn't here to like help us correct and make sure that we can actually do this on our own. So I wanted to say thank you very much, You're David. You've done, a, done an amazing job. It's actually not the same dog. I actually swapped it out for a different <laughs> dog. <laughs> I kept Lika. <laughs> We're going to leave all the links to Innovative Canine Academy and all of David's stuff below in the description. Feel free to check him out. He does awesome work and obviously you can see Lika is transformed. Thank you. So we're going to go ahead and head home now and we'll catch you guys later. Alright guys, so I know that I accidentally shaved the majority of my beard today, but that's not going to stop me from actually cleaning up my neck with a new razor from Harry's, and Harry's is the sponsor of today's video. Harry's was created to be different from other shaving companies. They craft high quality, long lasting blades and durable weighted handles that make a close, comfortable shave quick and easy. They believe you shouldn't have to choose between a great shave and an affordable one, so they give you both. Plus, Harry's offers a whole range of amazing face and body care products for men all delivered right to your door. <sighs> it's 
really nice to have a nice close shave and I'm not a professional at it like my grandpa, my grandpa shaves every single day. I don't shave that frequently. So right now Harry's is giving you guys an incredible deal. If you're interested in trying them out, I highly recommend it. Right now you can get their starter kit, which is a German engineered five blade design. This textured weighted handle, I actually love the weight that's in this handle, it's amazing. Also it comes with this blade cover for travel situations. Shave gel with aloe, you can get all of this, which is a $13 value for just three bucks. I highly recommend trying out Harry's for $3, especially if you haven't tried them out and you're curious about it. You guys can click the link in our description or you can go to harrys.com slash Trenton Alley. Thanks again to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. I got oh, good gosh. news and bad news. There's some snow out there. The good news is Lika did great on her first night back. She's been super responsive um, and very well behaved. The bad news is we have been waiting weeks to just finally take down the shelter logic and start building the garage. And we just decided yesterday it's done snowing. It's got to be spring. We're doing it today. We woke up to this. Even yesterday, I was like, hey, I was like, I think it's supposed to snow like an inch or two in the middle of the night. I was like, we're still taking down the shelter logic. Like, I'm not, I'm not playing this anymore. We're just doing it. And there's a lot of snow. <laughs> Remember when we had like a, like a barn raising party to put the shelter logic up, but yeah. all of our friends came and helped. And we did it in like two hours and crushed it right before it snowed. We need like an anti barn raising party. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we can take it down. Come on. All right, Brandon just got here. This is Lika's first test. She's practicing accepting guests into the house nicely. She's sitting well on her little bed. You're a good girl. Stay. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Good. Look at this well-behaved dog. It's really good. All right. Good girl, good girl. What do you think of the couches? A lot smaller. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I, you know. It's got its pros and cons. <laughs> in the original video, when we got these couches, there was so much footage from that day, so we didn't actually, we weren't able to fit in all the footage, but the day before, Brandon and I picked up the couches. It's a whole long story, but Brandon knew what was going on, and uh, he was saying, you know, Trent really likes this couch. I don't know if this is gonna be a good idea. And I was definitely having second thoughts. We didn't really lose that much as far as like the couch goes, and I think it looks better like this. It's like more, well designed and decorated and has like a better feel to it. Happy, happy life. wife, happy life. That's the moral <laughs> of this story actually. Anyway, so we're taking down the shelter logic. It's a good day to do it. <laughs> <laughs> So probably the best thing about having David take Lika to his little boot camp and get her like all set up is understanding what her job needed to be. Like we obviously knew she was a working breed and we knew that like her main issue was that like she didn't have a job. So she was turning, greeting our guests and barking at people in the street and protecting the yard into her job because she like didn't have a job. And so I didn't know what her job needed to be. You know, I'm like, ah, oh, let's, let's make her job running up the walls or like do something cool, you know, but she just needed a job. And so now that we've given her this like obedience and this structure of, you know, healing and staying on the bed and being calm and like listening to us when we talk to her, that's her job now. And actually the more that we've done that yesterday, as soon as we like got done, you know, with all that training yesterday, she was like, <sighs> She was like asleep because yeah. it's like mentally exhausting for them to like try and constantly be doing what you're asking and what you need. And that's the mental stimulation that she's always been missing. So it's really nice to see her like coming around yeah. and uh, it makes me really excited. And also like, it's better for Frank I know. because- We were worried. In, in the state she was in before, like she, Frank hated his life. <laughs> like Frank was miserable yeah. all the time because Lika was either always attacking him or chasing him and he's running away from her and just like trying to be himself without being attacked. And now she like knows she has to stay on the bed and Frank 
can be like, you know, calm and relaxed and go sit somewhere else. It's cool because she has this playful, sweet, tender personality still. We were really worried about that going away. And she definitely remembers us. Like she got really excited when we started to work with her. But she also, like Trent said, um, understands now that when she's working, she's at her job. And when she's released, then she's playful and goofy and back to her normal self. But we, we need her to be working sometimes. Like when people come to the door or when there's distractions outside and she needs to listen and there's a moose and we need to call her back really quickly. And uh, she's just much better now at her job. And it's snowing again. <laughs> You guys didn't really think we were gonna take down the shelter logic, did you? Of course we've gotta drag it out more. No. In the next video, we're gonna take down the shelter logic. Maybe we'll go clean out some stuff out there. I don't know, but it's gonna be like cold and snowy and miserable, so we'll probably end up just working on the built-ins. I'm gonna take down the shelter logic by myself. Allie's gonna get out there in her snowsuit and take down the shelter logic. <laughs> uh, but before we get started today, uh, we did want to give this to you, Brandon. Happy birthday to me. Brandon's birthday is June 19th, which we will never forget because that's our wedding anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Brandon, roses are red, violets are blue. It's not your birthday yet, but we're lucky to have a friend like you. We hope you enjoyed your vacation, but hope you enjoy these early birthday gifts more. Your present is in a little black box in the room where we take off our shoes and socks. In here? Sounds like it. <laughs> the golf shoes? Not confirmed nor denied. The silky new gift, gift will cover your rib, but your real gift is kicking in the box. Hiding. That brought us our crib. Scavenger hunt? <laughs> I like that shirt though. Oh yeah? Absolutely. I color. really wanted to get the pink flowery shirt. I probably would have wore a pink flower. Really? Shirt. Trent said no way. I was like, no, Brandon doesn't like that. <laughs> I'll wear pink. <laughs> wow, all right, next Something. time. Next time. Okay, the crib box. Is it outside? I don't mm -hmm. know. The basement. It's colder. Colder? Cold? Freezing. Is it in here? Warmer. Crib box. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna let him go downstairs. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, what? Are you kidding me? Let's go golfing. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect day for it. Absolutely. Thank you guys. Of course. Oh, you're welcome. We figured it was better to give it to you at the beginning of golfing season so you could actually use it all summer. Absolutely. Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> Trent and Brandon are actually in a golf league that meets once a week and it starts this Wednesday. Ten, tomorrow. Pe tomorrow. Starts Pending tomorrow. the weather. So basically the 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 golf course that our league is at is at like almost the same elevation as our house. And as you can see, all the snow we have, it's probably gonna be canceled tomorrow. But maybe next week, we'll get to start using him. And before then, we'll probably go to the range so that Brandon can get used to his new driver and like really uh, dial it in. Gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I know I really have not wanted to admit that this is probably the case, but there's, so much snow outside that I think we have to work on the built-ins. I'm sorry, I know so many people are just like aching to get this garage build underway and nobody is wanting this more than Allie and I and Brandon as well. So I promise, even if there's a blizzard in the next video, we're taking down the shelter logic. There's no if, and, or buts about it, even though I'm pretty sure that's how I started this video. Next time, I absolutely promise, but I think we're gonna go down to the shop. We're gonna make some drawers because right now our room is like not a functional space. It's super cluttered. With basically every other room in our house, we still haven't exactly decided on the configuration of the furniture in here. It's still under construction technically, so I don't feel super pressured to finalize everything, but this crib is uh, taking up some space that we still haven't decided on exactly where it's going to live. In the basement. In the basement. Just kidding. Everyone hates me because I said that baby should live in the basement. And it was I, a joke. Was it a but joke? But I'm really good at joking. <laughs> and I like sleep. So baby in the basement just seems like you would be able to sleep really well. We would have a baby monitor, but I'm a monster <laughs> for thinking that. So He's joking, guys. Don't worry. <laughs>
we've made it here to our favorite store. You already know it's Home Depot. Brandon and I are gonna run inside and get basically all the supplies that we need in order to build and hang all of these uh, drawers. And then we're gonna head out to the shop and start building them. Hopefully we can make quick work of this. I really think that with a quick cut list, uh, some quick assembly, we can probably finish all of these drawers today. We won't mount them because then we'd have to drive back home and mount them, but we're at least gonna get them built. So basically our drawers are really big, which means the hinges are gonna have to be mounted extremely securely, and the bottoms of the drawers are gonna have to be super solid. So we're actually using half inch plywood for the bottom of the drawers, and then three quarter for the sides, and then we're just gonna try and get the beefiest drawer slides that they have so that uh, we don't have an, an accident inside the actual drawer cavity, so. We could make lattes. Hey Trent, we still have that milk from the van tour, right? We could make lattes. I already had my coffee today. Bryce, where are your glasses? Ah! <laughs> I don't know. Don't and tell your, my mom. And your gloves. Don't tell my mom. All right, we're wasting no time. We're getting right to work. These guys are cutting the pieces we need. Bryce is here giving us a hand. Hopefully this all gets cut and we can start assembling really quickly. All right, so we started chopping up our uh, pieces of three quarter inch plywood. We've got all of the sides of the drawers actually cut and ready. We need to do the backs, the faces, the bottoms and get everything assembled. But in true Trenton Alley fashion, we have to break and eat some lunch. So we got uh, this place that makes these delicious teriyaki bowls and uh, everybody is gonna be forced, yes you Bryce, to sit down and, and eat some lunch. Stop twisting my arm. <laughs> Damn. Bryce is barely, he's like, what, less than a month out from ACL surgery, and he's just here grinding every day, not eating. We're like, Bryce, sit down and eat. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna munch. So these are basically gonna be Paul Bunyan's drawers in here. They're gonna be which means what? Big and super strong. Holding all the clothes. Are they gonna be soft or scratchy on the inside? I don't know. I have to ask Bryce. I'm just convinced that Bryce will make these look ten times better than I'll make them look. Yeah. It's true. Cause I'm a better worker than. That's <laughs> for other people to talk about. <laughs> Bryce's house would not be a Harrods square. It's just that's true. <laughs> Bryce is actually hard at work over here, working on finishing remodel touches. Looking really good. The original Pamela Vanderson. Completely new shower, a fresh new coat of paint on the uppers and on the bottom. Everything has been cleaned, replaced. It smells fresh in here. Um, all the new components are going in. Brand new countertop looks unbelievable. Look at this. He notched it out perfectly, so it just fits gorgeous right there. Looks absolutely incredible. Just really makes me want to go travel in a van. That's the power stance right there. This low wide cool. position. Yeah. <laughs> you know, if you're trying to do anything powerful, the lower you get, the more powerful it becomes. It helps if you have more weight. <laughs> you look like a cowboy. <laughs> Can I help you with something? No, you earned your break. Here's what's happening Thursday. I'm gonna get rid of this thing. Yeah, yeah, boy. Oh, boy, gonna make some money. <laughs> so on Thursday, our first van customer is coming to pick up their van. We're really excited about it, and Allie and Leo have had a great time hanging out here in the shop, and we actually finished all six of the drawer boxes over yeah. here. 
And then these are our faces. So these have this little cutout right here and those are gonna get sanded and that's how you're gonna open the drawers. You're gonna reach in and grab onto that and then you can like actually pull the drawers open just without having handles on the front. That is awesome. You like that? I like that so much. Yeah, I thought it was cool. We never even talked about this. That's brilliant. You like that? Yeah. We should use those in the van. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, the only reason that we're doing that is because there's like cabinet doors that cover the drawers. So it's not like something oh, yeah. you're going to see. Like once you open up the doors, then you can just pull on those to open it and there's no there's no doorknobs or anything on the inside. But anyway, I think that's uh, probably going to do it for us here at the shop today. These are going to get stained and sanded and assembled uh, probably Thursday when we come back to the shop to uh, deliver Pamela Anderson 2.0. Well, I don't know how easily you guys can see that over there, but that is the first moose that we've seen at our property this year. Basically, he or she is just looking for anything that they can to eat because it snowed and uh, all of the fresh foliage is probably covered by the snow, but it's really cool. I'm, uh, I'm excited to see more moose around our property this year. And now we'll be inside the house looking at them instead of like hiding in a construction site because we're yeah. afraid they might approach. But anyway. We're uh, rolling into the house. Leo has had a long day. <sighs> well guys, I have just realized that we forgot to say goodbye to you guys. We got home, we were having so much fun. And honestly, if there's one thing that I could say I'm extremely grateful for, it is how well Lika has been behaving. Honestly, it's unbelievable. She is transformed it's crazy i really didn't think that it was possible i don't know i've never done a training like this before and uh i'm very impressed yeah it was like it's it's been a shocking transformation to say the least yeah. like i i'm in i'm in shock <laughs> because like it's not only just like when she is like when we're doing exercises and she's like being well behaved and she's on her bed or she's healing or she's staying or she's laying or you know whatever we're telling her to do but even when we like kind of set her free to do her own thing she's so mellow and like yeah. chill and calm and like you can like get her excited and she's like still the excited Lika that she used to be but she's just not like the crazy version that yeah. she used to be it's Giving it's her amazing. a job and learning how to understand her needs better has made a huge difference. Seriously. Yeah. And uh, also, I'm really happy that we got to give Brandon his gift, and I think he's yeah. actually really going to like it. So I'm just trying to think of all the things that I'm grateful for because I'm so mad that it keeps snowing and we can't take down the shelter. <laughs> it's snowing logic. right now. It's, right now. it's snowing right now. But anyways, I, I promise the next time that we see you guys, the shelter logic is coming down. We're cleaning out Terry and Rusty, and we're probably moving them, and we're getting everything off of like the slab for the garage. And hopefully, like the video after that, we're gonna like start building. I gotta do a lumber takeoff. So I got some work, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. If you guys did, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Harry's for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. We'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.